So I just wanted to do a kind of a quick demonstration of one of the reasons why I like the idea of a Linux-based phone, or at least a uh, GNU Linux-based phone. Um, you know, we can use traditional programming languages and libraries that we've always had. Uh, not everybody wants to develop in objectionable C, or they want to, you know, develop in Java, or even JavaScript for that matter. So, um, you know, there's people out there that have used programming languages available on Linux for a long time. Uh, this is Common Lisp running on uh, SBCL. And the nice thing here is, you you know, you'd never be able to do that easily on like an iPhone or an Android phone. I mean, you might get some somebody that ported, you know, some homemade Lisp or something, but, you know, to get traditional tools is really nice. Um, so here here's the LTK example that comes um, with the LTK package. I believe Peter Hirth made that. Um, but basically, I mean, we're able to make standard windowed applications with standard tools and, you know, libraries that we want to use on this. And that's kind of nice. Now, this is kind of optimized for desktop right now as far as the widgets go. But, I mean, there's some styling options too. And in theory, you could make these a little bit bigger. So they're a little more finger friendly. But you can see it all works. Let me see if I can grab this here and, and move. Whoop, let me get my, looking through one device here. Let me move that around. You can see, you know, the check boxes work. We can change basically the look of stuff. Um, TK comes with a few different uh, a few different options as far as how it looks. If you can stop the animation. Uh, basically it's just nice to have, I mean we can test the radio buttons. It's just nice to have, you know, a standard interface and it's not it's not laziness, but if your time can be put towards building programs rather than using, you know, proprietary interfaces and, and libraries that you know, are foreign. Sometimes it's nice just to get off the blocks and, and be able to quickly catch up. Now I'm going to quit this program here. And again, you know, if you're using this, you could optimize this a little bit more for a phone experience. I'm just running the, the, basic, um, the basic demo. And you can see here, I mean, we've got SBCL, which is a standard common list implementation. And uh, we're running inside Emacs. So I mean, this is this is why it's nice to have all this stuff. Not that you develop on the phone necessarily. I mean, you could. It's not like you have to install a VM or anything. You could develop right on the phone if you like to. Um, but it's just ha having all these standard tools that we've had forever on Linux. And uh, this is just Mobian, so it's everything I would have uh, on Debian. Um, you know, and, and the nice thing is, you know, I've got multiple applications. I've got terminal and everything else available to me. So, I mean, it's just like having a full desktop or a full server environment in your pocket. And, and honestly, this is what Android should have been initially. Um, Android was my biggest disappointment. Um, first computer I ever wanted to throw across the room because it was so limited uh, and so cut down that that basically it was near, nearly worthless when it first came out to somebody who was serious about, you know, computing and, and having freedom within their devices. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to have a quick demo of that. And you can kind of see why it's nice to have standard tools and standard libraries. So with that, I guess that's one option for common list developers or really anybody who uses a language that's not, you know, Java or JavaScript or Objective-C. Uh, we pretty much have choice with a real Linux distribution on phones. So have a good one and we'll see you later.